Last spring, Chase Cook finished off his junior season in style with a tremendous performance at the OHSAA State Meet in Columbus. Cook medaled in the long jump, 4x100, 200 final, and 100 final. And now entering his final high school track season, Chase is working hard to repeat that success. Winning all those medals, it really was a surprise because before the state meet, when they asked me what my goals were for the state meet, I just said, hey, if I medal in one event, I'm going to be really happy about that because in state track meet is where my heart's always been. I would just like to see him match what he did last year. I thought it was in a, in a tremendous year for sprinters and jumpers, and in his events, it was exceptional what he did. Following up a prolific season brings some added pressure, but it's nothing Chase can't handle. He's been competing at track and field for his entire life. Started out probably in kindergarten when do uh, YMCA track, because that's what my brother did, so I always wanted to do that. And then probably about third or fourth grade was when I did AAU. I went down to Lima every day and ran for the Lima Striders. He's just been around track and field his entire life. He has exceptional athletic talent, and then on top of it, he works pretty hard at track and field. He makes it important to himself. And Cook is set to continue his career next year at the University of Akron, where he knows he will be challenged. It's a really young team, really good team. I don't expect to make an impact right away. For my college decision, I didn't want to go into a program being the number one guy. I want to go to a program that wins and Akron's won like four MAC championships in the last four years indoor and outdoor. Before college, there's still one more season as an Eagle, and Chase is thrilled to be finishing out his career at Liberty Benton with a Hall of Fame coach at his side. Coach Quizno is a great coach. He's coached multiple state champions and state championship teams. He's been here for almost 30 years, and for him to tell me uh, last year at the state meet, I could possibly want be one of the best athletes to go through Liberty Benton track that just meant the world to me. He's so dedicated to the sport that you, you really cheer for him to do as well as he can and uh, and I would always consider him one of our finer athletes but uh, I think he's making a name for himself in our program. In Finley, I'm Matt Finkel for the Sports Report.